Did you know that a third tower fell on 9-11? At approximately 5.20 p.m. on September 11, 2001, World Trade Center Building 7 collapsed in 6.5 seconds from normal office fires, according to the government's final report. World Trade Center 7 collapsed because of fires fueled by office furnishings. It did not collapse from explosives or from fuel oil fires. Later, the government finally admitted that Building 7 collapsed at the rate of freefall after trying to deny it. So what's wrong with a building in freefall? What is freefall? It's just like taking your car keys out and just dropping them. That's how fast the building came down for over 100 feet. This is high school physics. A building cannot do freefall with 40,000 tons of structural steel in its structural system without it being blown up. The only way that a building can accelerate as it collapses is by having pre-engineered, precisely timed and precisely placed explosives. In other words, controlled demolition. Normal office fires not only dropped a steel-framed skyscraper for the first time in history and did so at freefall, according to the government's report, they also burned hot enough to create the molten metal observed at ground zero. You'd get down below and you'd see molten steel, like a molten down. steel running down the channel rails, like you're in a foundry. Mm -hmm. In an office fire, you cannot generate enough heat to melt steel. So if you have a flame at 750 degrees, you can hold that flame under a steel beam forever and you'll never reach a high enough temperature to bend steel, let alone melt it. First of all, let's go back to your basic uh, premise that there was uh, a pool of melting, melting steel. Like lava. Like, like, like lava. lava. From a volcano. Um, I know of absolutely nobody, and no eyewitness who said so, nobody who's produced it. John Gross categorically denied their observations. He not only ignored evidence, he denied evidence. The government acknowledged that Building 7's collapse was unprecedented. Engineers were also stunned. Yet somehow, news networks and many others knew it was going to happen. CNN reported the collapse an hour before it happened. We are getting information now that one of the other buildings, Building 7, in the World Trade Center complex is on fire and has either collapsed or is collapsing. And a few blocks away, Now, more on the latest building collapse in New York. The BBC even reported the collapse in detail, live from New York, over 20 minutes before it happened, with Building 7 still standing in the background. Immediately after Building 7's collapse, FDNY Lieutenant David Rastuccio had this to say. We had heard reports that the building was unstable and that it eventually would either come down on its own or it would be taken down. CBS veteran anchorman Dan Rather and others also had their first impressions, which were only broadcast on that tragic day. For the third time today, it's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. And I turned in time to see uh, what looked like uh, a skyscraper implosion. It looked like it had been done by a demolition crew. The whole thing just collapsing down on itself. You don't need to be an engineer or an architect to see what happened to those buildings. The most obvious hypothesis for anyone looking at the films is that the buildings came down because there was very carefully controlled demolition with high explosives that had been planted weeks if not months before. 9-11 claimed thousands of lives and touched millions more. It led us into two wars and was used to scale back our civil liberties and invade our privacy. But many people are beginning to question what we were told and we are demanding answers. So how do we do it? We find our own voices and then we raise them, together. There's been hatred, there's been fear, but there's been no justice for the people who were killed on that day. We must have an inquiry to find out what really happened. The official accounts of 9-11 are false. This is so important that you've got, to, you've got to put your usual sources on hold for a while. You take it slowly, just slowly digest it, slowly accept it. 
when the most likely hypothesis in, in the case of Building 7 wasn't even mentioned. They didn't talk about Building 7. Nobody mentioned it. And it wasn't hit by planes. So why did it go down? What I want to persuade you to do is look into it, right? And make up your own mind. Rethink 9-11. Rethink 9-11! Perth, Australia supports. Rethink 9-11! Join us and millions around the world who are now learning about the evidence and uniting to rethink 9-11.